All righty, I have a really good construction up for uh, blah, blah, blah. I have a really good construction update for you guys today, and you're gonna start to see our information both enhance um, and get really detailed about exactly what's going on, and also you're gonna start hearing us leaning towards more specific coaster models. So our Patreons are going to get a little bit of a teaser today about ruling out one of the coaster models, and then that'll be in tomorrow's video for you guys. Um, but you're going to hear us talk about some really detailed things. So in today's update, obviously Moosehorn Falls is continuing construction um, over here at the tunnel of our new 2025 launch coaster. A pile driver was arriving, and then the actual pile driver um, equipment that's been parked out there that's going to drill footings and pile drive our new tunnel um, is going to move into the park. So um, essentially what you're going to expect to see is called a top down method. So what we assume, keywords assume, um, is going to happen is they're going to put support side support walls and capping beams in um, from ground level. Um, by such methods as slurry walling or contiguous board piling, which is what they're going to do here. Then a shallow excavation allows making the tunnel roof of precast beams or in situ concrete. The surface is then reinstated except for access openings. This allows early reinstatement of roadways, services, and other surfaces features. Excavation then takes place under the permanent tunnel roof and the base slab is constructed. So um, that's essentially what's about to take place. You can see over here the pile driving um, steel beams um, and that machine's gonna be sticking them in and then they'll go in and excavate. Why do they have to do it this way? Well, interestingly enough, we figured out why they were being really careful around the concrete and why they didn't just go in and bulldoze it. So those concrete slabs um, for the tunnel heading into the mound are what they call post-tensioned slabs. So essentially what a post-tensioned slab is, is a method of pre-stressing in which the tendons are tensioned after the concrete has hardened and the pre-stressing force is primarily transferred to the concrete through the end anchorages. Um, it is extremely dangerous to remove that type of concrete. You can't just go in and start digging at it or cutting it um, because it will explode um, with a lot of force and it's dangerous to the construction workers. So they have to remove it essentially in slabs and done properly. Um, essentially, so we, again, to dumb this down a little bit, they're gonna pile drive those steel beams in, build a side wall so the soil doesn't cave in when they are removing this properly. And then they're gonna remove those slabs, pour a concrete roof, um, and then um, remove it um, more intensely. Uh, so hopefully that describes why they've been moving so slowly with this tunnel and why they're doing it in the way they are doing it. Um, I, I know that's super boring for some of you, but I, I really, again, I'm trying to get all the accurate information presented in exactly what is going on. Um, but yeah, so that's essentially what's arrived there. That is not a support column for a coaster, we wish. Um, but you're going to see a lot of action taking place now. So the footings inside the mountain, from what I understand, are done. And they are working from the inside out. So now that we are in the tunnel part of the ride, um, I would expect to see a lot more action over the next couple month at months as we head outward. Again, Extreme Skyflyer is going to come down, so that's an obvious sign. And I would expect to see something like International Showplace come down um, as Cedar Fair likes their circular designs underneath their new attractions in terms of pathways and all that. Um, and maybe we'll even see a path connecting the mountain area over to um, Action Zone, which would be so cool. So hopefully that's something we see. Um, and yeah, so hopefully this was super informative and, um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there was anything else. Front gates looking really cool. As you saw over there at front gate, a lot of electrical work going on in that north part of the building. Um, half expecting self-serve kiosks at the old ticket booth windows, but we'll have to see. Um, and yeah, the, uh, the exit slash gift shop. Um, doesn't look like a lot to happen, but obviously a lot of work is going on in the inside and the park is receiving a lot of work in their restaurants. So again, that might be the mobile ordering system in the app that's being installed in all the restaurants. 
that's all the information I have with what's going on at Wonderland currently. Um, today was a one fly day. There was a little mishap uh, in terms of Craig and I's scheduling. So tomorrow there'll be two flights. So look forward to that as there'll be a lot more information. So this was filmed at 10 a.m. We are missing our 5.30 p.m. flight. Anyways, thanks so much. Definitely hit us up on Patreon if you want that exclusive info and right away construction updates. Have a good one, guys. Bye.